himself, who doesn't want to show mercy, at the day of judgment, the judgment of God will be without mercy. But listen what he says. Listen what he says. What mercy does when you are a merciful man and you show mercy. Listen what he says. Mercy triumphs over judgment. When you are a merciful man, you will triumph at the your judgment. God will lift you up. But if you don't show mercy in your daily life, the judgment of God will be without mercy, my friends. Jesus Christ, he teaches us how to live our life to show mercy. Jesus Christ is teaching you today to show mercy to somebody. Jesus Christ is teaching you today to be merciful. If you want to receive mercy from God, give mercy to others. Do not allow the devil to deceive you. Satan is a liar. Satan is a criminal. Satan does not want you to love anybody. Satan does not want you to help anybody. The message of Christ, Jesus, is the message of love to help somebody. John the Baptist came to preach repentance. And listen what John the Baptist declared. Because you need to understand what I'm talking about. John the Baptist, Gospel of Luke, chapter 3. Listen what he says. He said to the multitudes that came out to be baptized by him, Brother of vipers, who warned you to flee from the world, from the wrath to come. Therefore, bear fruit worthy of repentance. And do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you, that God is able to rise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now, the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown to the fire. So the people asked him, said, what shall we do then? He answered and he said to them, He who have two tunics, let him give to him who have none. And he who have food, let him do, share with the one who don't have. My friends, this is the message of love, to be merciful. John the Baptist was telling people who came to him to be baptized, why you want to run away from the wrath of God? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Today, we see so many churches, so many Christians, so many denominations. And I tell you something. Many of them, they don't bear fruit of the repentance. They don't show mercy. They don't love others. They just want God's profit. God bless me. I want to be rich. God bless me. I want easy life. My friends, the message of Christ is not the message of prosperity. Jesus never says, come to God. God will make you millionaire. No. Jesus Christ, he preached repentance. John the Baptist declared, bear fruit of repentance. Share some love with somebody. Help somebody who need help. Share your food with someone who is hungry. Share your bread with the one who don't have. 
This is about Christianity. This is the message that God is giving to you today. Don't tell me you're a Christian and you show no mercy to anyone. You're not a Christian. You're a Satan agent. Agent of the devil with a Bible in the hand. You're a Christian when you're merciful to others. You're a Christian when you love others. That makes you to be a Christian, to be a believer in Jesus Christ. The Bible declared, go back to James, Apostle James. I love this Apostle. I love the way he teach. Listen what he says, Apostle James. He says this, My brethren, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with partiality. For if there should come unto you assembly a man with gold ring in fine appear, and there so also come in a poor man with 50 clothes and you pay attention to the one wearing nice clothes and you, you tell to the poor man, you sit here in the back because you are a bit dirty. Jesus does not look to the appearance of men, how you dress. Jesus, he looks to the heart of men. Today, people, they go to church, they want to dress nice, but their hearts are far away from God. They go to church, pastor, I'm here, look, I'm blessed. God has blessed me. Look my suit. You look nice. You, you go to church to show up your suit. My friends, don't be deceived by the devil. God is not interested in your clothes, in your shoes. God wants your heart. Jesus declared, those people, they worship God with their lips, but their hearts are far away. Why? Because they don't keep God's word. They don't want to obey God. Again, my friends, Apostle James declared, if you look down, Unto that person who is dressed poor, become judgmental. And because you become judgmental, you show no mercy. And then judgment will be without mercy. Judgment will be without mercy. But if you become merciful from tonight, you make decisions from tonight. I want to be merciful. You become merciful from tonight. At the judgment day, God will show you mercy. Hallelujah. My dear friends, you need to make it right with God today before it's too late. You have to make it right with God today before it's too late. Repent of your sins today. Tomorrow may be too late. Repent, you sinners. Love others. Show mercy to others. Bear a good fruit unto repentance. A tree without fruit is cut off and put in the fire. You have to be a man who bear fruit, who love somebody, who help somebody, and then you'll be a good fruit. You'll be a good tree who bear a good fruit. Hallelujah. <laughs> My dear friends, one evening, I was in Leicester Square, a Burger King. I was praying to God in my heart. 
I said, God, I need Christian music. I'm tired of this music from these clubs. After five minutes, I went outside. Two people came to me. One of them said, you are born again. I said, yes, I remember God opened heaven for me. The second one says, you need music. You need Christian music, says. Yes, that's right. I just pray to God. I received CD player. This man said, can we pray for you? Yes. When he prayed for me, first time in my life, I had my eyes open. I was scared. The anointing of God was with this man. When this man he prayed for me, the power of God came upon me. I started to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. My dear friends, God, He wants to touch your life today. God wants to touch you. God wants to set you free. Free from drugs, from smoking. God wants to give you freedom. Do you want to be set free? Come to Jesus. Call upon Him. Say, Lord Jesus, I need your power. Set me free, Lord, from drugs, from cigarettes. Today, Jesus Christ, He wants to set you free. He wants to give you freedom. Today is your chance, your opportunity to pray. Because I don't know tomorrow, I don't know about tomorrow. You might go to sleep. You never wake up again in the morning. The time is over. After you die, you cannot repent. You cannot pray. But now, you have the time to repent. Now you have the time to pray. My dear friends, make decision today. Do you want to receive salvation for your soul? Do you want to spend eternity in heaven? Or do you prefer to go hell? Hell is burning fire for eternity. If you want heaven, invite Jesus Christ into your life today. Invite Jesus Christ in your heart today. And receive your freedom. Receive your salvation. Hallelujah. The Bible declares, Everyone who receives Him will give them the authority to become the children of God. Everyone who receives Jesus, they receive power, authority to become children of God. <laughs> when you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you receive God in your life. You receive salvation for your soul. Make decision today. Make decision today. Repent of your sins. Make decision today. Say yes to God. Say no to Satan. Make decision today, my friends. The time is very short. Don't worry about money, about food. Be worry about your soul. Where are you going to spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Be worry about your own soul. Jesus declared, What profit a man to win the whole world but lose his own soul? What profit do you have if you become like a Beckham? If you become a football player, if you become a star, what profit do you have? If you become a prime minister and you, you lose your soul, there's no profit. Life is very short. Life on earth is very short time.
Today is a day of salvation. Today is your day to pray to God. Today is your day to worship God. Stop worshiping the devil. Repent. Give your life to Jesus, the only one who can save your soul. Jesus Christ, the only one who can save your life. Jesus Christ, the only one who can save your soul. Repent today. Give a love to Jesus today. Say no to Satan today. After I invite Jesus Christ in my life to be my Lord, my Savior, I went to Jesus' army. There was a church called Jesus' army. People live together in community. I spent so beautiful time among them. It was so beautiful. But even there, even there, the devil was using people. I love that place so much. I love that atmosphere so much. Where the God's children are gathered together, live together, pray together, work together, eat together, live together. I love it so much. There was a time when people get baptized. I wanted to be baptized. And I was told, by one guy from my country who was a member of that church. We cannot baptize you because you don't know the Bible. I was crying for two hours. My heart was hurt. I wanted so much to be baptized. Something was telling me in my heart, jump in that water and you'll be fine. You'll be saved. After everybody was baptized, I jumped in the water to be baptized. I was a very happy boy. They looked at me, everybody said, this guy is crazy. He baptized himself. <laughs> but dear friends, it was faith. Without faith, no one can be saved. Without faith in Jesus, there is no salvation. Jesus declared, Go and preach the gospel of repentance. Those who believe and be baptized shall be saved. Today people are telling me, well, I was baptized in Catholic Church when I was five years old. Did you believe in Jesus? No. That's not baptism. First, you have to believe in Jesus. What Jesus has done for you. As you believe, you repent. You invite Jesus Christ in your heart. And then you go to be baptized. This is called baptism. First, you have to believe. My friends, I believe Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is God. Do you believe? Yeah, but you need to hit them with a hammer. You're too nice to the fucking crowd. I think the Look at these fucking zombies. I think these fucking no, Don't speak like that. The people are created in God's image. These you have to love them. Shapes. Jesus says, love your enemies. That's what Jesus said. I love my enemies, but you know, you I, don't love your I enemies. hate people. You, you, you call them uh, names. They're fucking zombies. Jesus died for them on the cross. You have to love them. You have fucking to pray for them. Mate, nobody listens to you because you're too fucking okay. nice. If I get the look. fucking microphone, okay. I'll look. fucking... Look, listen. Look. Let's you say, know what's the problem okay. with these people? You, you speak this way with them. <laughs> you know, if I'm you are there and somebody speaks, the way you speak to them, I don't think you're crazy can for ask, a second. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. The way you speak to them. I'm not saying do you I'm like, to you, no Do that. you like if someone speaks to you the, the way I'm you speak to, to them? You. I'm not talking to them. You call them zombie, no? Yes, not even that. If yeah. someone comes here and says, oh, how are you zombie? I don't care. Do you like that? I don't, that's you have to love people. I don't. The message of Christ is a message of love. Mate, ham, you need the hammer. Use the fucking hammer. So you want to kill them, right? I didn't say that. Will you kill all I of them? I didn't say that. Don't go to hell. Repent. Come to Jesus. Receive I didn't salvation. say that. 
You need the love of God. You know what God. the problem is with them? Most of them, they hate their fucking mother and father. Listen, people, <laughs> uh, people are deceived. The devil Come does not sleep. The devil wants to deceive people. People are created in God's image. God loves these I'm people so much. I'm not the enemy, much. mate. The, those are your enemies. Those zombies. Listen, man. It's you the know? devil who deceives people. You can say something. It's the devil. You can say something. Next time you can say it as much as you want. You know what they are? Pathetic are fucking shit. People created in God's image. Mate, come on. If you are against people, you are against God. Remember that. Really? Yes. Then Jesus, I am against God. Jesus came to die on the cross for these people. No. They don't deserve that shit. Do you deserve these people? Do you deserve I'm heaven? I'm not talking about me. Do you deserve heaven? I'm Why not you saying humble that. yourself I'm and pray? I'm not saying that. Ask the Lord to forgive but you. They do not deserve fucking What about heaven. you? Do you deserve heaven? Maybe not. So why do you speak about them? Because look at your own eyes before you look at other people's eyes. I did not choose mediocrity like these people. These people are people. created in God's image. Don't fucking, call them zombies because they are not zombies. zombies. Shit. Yeah. You see? You need to repent yeah. then. Nobody is listening to you. No. You speak if, I, if I grab the microphone, I have a thousand people You can buy a microphone and go to preach if you want. We preach in my group. It's the Bible, the Word of God. The Bible. Do you know? Do you know what it means to be merciful? Ezekiel 25, 15, 17. I will strike down upon great vengeance with furious anger. Ezekiel 25, 17. Okay, you you wanna read it? I am your brother's feet. Do you wanna read? Have you seen that scene? But dear friends, if you believe in Jesus Christ today, your life will change, your destiny will change.